In the previous video I expressed three concerns that I had with the X-Carb. These were in relation to its overall sturdiness, the original spindle it came with and the software I inevitably began using. In this video I will address the first of these problems by rebuilding the machine's base using thicker aluminium profile, replacing the Z-axis with a C-beam linear actuator and finally bolting the extrusion of the X-axis together. I will also write up a full description of the build on my website which I will link to at the end of this video.
In the following video I will construct a space saving vertical stand to hold the CNC machine and begin testing what effect this has.